Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make over some thrifted frames. And I have a large stash of these and have needed to get some out of the way. Uh, so, um, so I just decided to turn these into wall art. So I'm going to start with this one. Um, the frame I really liked, but I'm kind of going for a little different look. So uh, I'm decoupaging some scrapbook paper on uh, the cardboard that's in this one. So I just cut that to fit. And then um, I decided that I wanted to mute that down just a little bit. So um, I'm going to take some... Um, pattern paper and cover this up and uh, that will just slightly mute it but you'll still be able to see the pattern well so I just took an old pattern that um, that didn't have a lot of detail in it that way I would have a lot of the area that didn't have the lines on it and now I'm just going to decoupage that over the top of this uh, scrapbook paper so you can just cut a uh, large enough piece that you know it'll cover it well and then decoupage that on and then you can cut the remaining off once it's dry well. I love uh, making over frames because you can make some really pretty wall art as long as the frame is uh, has good bones and has a good shape to it or good detail then it'll make, uh, the color obviously doesn't matter. You can just make some really pretty wall art out of it. And I'm using this as a chance to do some of my uh, scripture. And this one here, Beauty from Ashes, is very dear to me because um, after my mother passed, um, we've seen so many things that God has done and so this this scripture i think of it a lot and so i kind of see this one as mom's scripture so i'm doing this uh, stencil in black and white and i feel like with the really muted um, warm colors in the background this sharp black and white will really show up so once I get the stencil done, then I can just lay it aside to dry and uh, and then I'm going to paint the frame because although I did really like that frame, I wanted to brighten it up so that the white uh, has goes along with or goes with it rather. So I'm just going to give this two coats of the color cotton and then once I get that uh, painted, and covered well then I'm going to heavily distress it because I do like this wood showing through and um, so I'll give it two coats of the color and then I heavily distress it and then I'm going to be putting a top coat on this just because um, this is chalk paint and it needs to be sealed so I'm using a Dixie Bell top coat but you could use any top coat you want just you you just need a um, something to seal that after you use the chalk paint. Some of these frames that I'll be doing tonight will um, will take very little effort, but it makes such a difference. And uh, so when you're thrifting, always go to uh, the picture frames because um, you can usually buy them very at a very good price. And then, like I said, with very little effort, you can turn them into really pretty wall art. Now, I am going to recover this back uh, because it's not very attractive. So, I'm just going to take some, uh, some um, craft paper and cover that up and then tape around the edges really neatly. And I'm going to have to tape over the hanger because... Um, I really looked at it and couldn't figure out how to get that off and not mess up the the back. So uh, I'm just taping right over that and then I can just take a razor blade and cut around that. And then that'll clean up this back. So this one didn't take much effort at all and, uh, 
and I think the look is really good. So that's our first one finished. And then um, the second one is an order. So I had a lady come in the store yesterday and she wanted to, um, to buy a larger frame with some scripture in it. And we decided on a scripture. And um, so I'm just gonna do her one in the colors that she wanted. She wanted the colors gray and blue and white. So, um, so that's the colors we're gonna be using on this. And so I took the frame out which had a matting and I pa I'm painting both the frame and the matting in the color cotton and I have to give them two coats and then I let that dry well. And then I'm uh, covering the art that was in this with some white craft paper. Actually, it was a, another color of craft paper that wasn't two-sided. So. I want the white side to show here because I'm going to be doing some stenciling on that also. And then I found some very faint plaid um, gift paper or gift wrap, gift tissue actually. And uh, it's very faint plaid in the color gray. And so I'm going to decoupage that onto this mat. So I just put the whole sheet over that and then I just cut away with uh, a razor blade or you could use an exacto knife and cut the excess away and then uh, then it'll be ready for the next step and the next step is um, doing our um, stencil and this is the one that she and I decided on. God is within her and she will not fail. Uh, this one is actually my youngest daughter's favorite scripture. But uh, this is the one we decided on. So I, I'm going to do this stencil in, in a lighter gray, which I'm using uh, French linen, which has a, has a grayish look to it. And then... Um, and then I'm going to use the color Vintage Duck Egg because she wanted blue, but I didn't want it to be um, a cool blue. I wanted it to be more of a warm blue, so I'm just using the color Vintage Duck Egg. And I'm, I usually like to do my stencils in a couple different colors because I feel like it adds more character. Obviously, when they're smaller, there's some cases where you don't have to do that, but uh, for me, it, it usually works out better to use more than one color. Most of my scripture stencils, or, or maybe all of them, I found on um, Amazon. So, um, if, if you want this one, just put this scripture in. Uh, and say stencil obviously and it will pull this one up and now I'm using a wax over this and I'm using a clear wax and I've just added some of the color gravel road and uh, I guess I put maybe about um, a tablespoon of the clear wax and maybe maybe a half teaspoon of the paint but uh, I really feel like it gave this frame a really good look. And now with that plaid and that scripture, I think this one turned out really good. And then for the next frame, um, this is one that I thrifted also. And I think it's a really pretty frame, uh, but not the look that I'm going for. So... Um, I'm going to be painting this one also and it's going to get two coats of the color cotton as well so um, I put two coats of the color cotton on this one and let it dry well and then I'm going to be doing some decoupage on this one because I feel like it has a good flat space for some decoupage and uh, I'm also, on this one, going to use some of that uh, gift tissue that I got at the Dollar Tree. And this one uh, has some gray in it, but I, 
I think it's just got a, a real pretty little or faint little design and I think it will be pretty uh, on this frame. So um, this one's a little bit more tedious to cover because of that raised frame in the center, but I just kind of cut that out and then uh, decoupage around. And I get some wrinkles, but that doesn't matter. I kind of like that look and sometimes I purposely create extra wrinkles. I didn't in this case, but I do like the look that it gave. And now I'm just taking some fine grit sandpaper and sanding the excess away. That'll just kind of cut the edge off neatly and, um, and just kind of neaten that edge up. And then I decide to do a little bit of extra um, distressing on the on the tissue and I like the look that that gave. Now this is just a book page and but the particular book page that I'm using was plain on one side so I just took some of the uh, some of the stamp kind of regards and stamped that on there for a background and now I'm going to be doing just a black stencil over this. Now, in hindsight, it might have been better to do my script in the back in a lighter color, um, but I still think it turned out pretty good. Uh, like I said, if I had it to do over again, I probably would have done a light gray on it, but I do like the look anyway. And this is one of my favorite scriptures here because um, it's just one, I guess, that I struggle the most to... Uh, to listen to, but I do like it. So now I'm doing some extra sanding just to uh, give some extra distressing to this. And then the next frame that we're gonna be doing is a frame that I really like the look of, uh, but I'm just gonna add some art to it. And it's gonna be very simple art like I said, I really like the look of this frame. I don't do, want to do anything to change it. Uh, all I'm going to be doing is taking a vintage uh, page that doesn't have any writing on it. And um, I'm just kind of tearing it to fit this glass. And if you hold your glass over the top of it, it'll give you a good clean tear and you won't have to cut it because this uh, paper is very fragile. And then I'm just gonna uh, put a stamp on it and, uh, and that'll be finished. And I love the simple look of these, uh, these um, bottles with uh, plants in them. So I'm just gonna stamp that right in the center and put it back in the frame and That'll be all that I have to do to this one. And you'd never know that you just tore out a book page and uh, put a stamp on it and framed it. And I think it has a really good look for just about any style of decor. It could be farmhouse or boho or cottage. Um, I really like how this one turned out. And then for the next one, um, I'm going to use this little vintage frame that, to me, is not real attractive. Some of you may like it. I'm sorry if you do because I'm going to be covering this one up also. But um, I'm just, my first thought on this one was to paint the frame black and then do a, a stamp on the inside that is, um, that was black and give this one kind of a French country look. But I changed my mind and decided to paint it white. And I've also decided, uh, because the back is um, not easy to remove, I just paint the glass also. And then I'm just gonna decoupage right over the top of the glass. And this is a really pretty uh, tissue wrap that I found on um, Amazon and I'll try to look that up and link it in the description But I really like the look of that scrapbook paper or not scrapbook paper the tissue wrap And now I'm just gonna stamp a little B on a piece of cloth and that's a little bit smaller than than the um, 
decoupage and so that you that decoupage still shows but I'm using a thick enough cloth that you can't see through it and I love the really simple look of this little frame and I thought the bee was appropriate because of the plants in in the background and I do go back over this one and do some extra distressing on the frame and then for the last frame I thrifted uh, a little cloth frame that I feel like was really dated but I felt like it was something that I could work with here so um, I'm just gonna add some to this and I'm starting with some wider lace on the bottom and I'm just gluing that on and then uh, now I'm going to add some little rosettes uh, across the bottom. And I've made these before on video. And um, I have a few videos actually uh, making these. But um, I'll show you close up on this when you're just going to... I used a little piece of doily that I, I cut a little circle from a doily and so that I will have a base to work on for this first one. And now I'm just twisting strips of fabric and uh, gluing them around in a circle. And you can twist one way for a little while and then twist back the other way. And then that adds some extra dimension on your rows. And I'm just gonna put roses across the bottom of this. And the first one I kind of built and then placed on there. The rest of them, I'm gonna be building them on the frame. So I start out with a little knot at the end of my fabric. And then I glue that knot to the center of where I want the flower to be. And then I just keep wrapping it around and adding glue. And you can use a number of fabrics for this. Uh, I'm using tea towel on this one, and uh, then I've coffee stained it. But um, you can use just about any fabric for this. And I, with the tea towel, I rip strips, so you don't even have to cut them. But certain fabrics, obviously, you would have to cut. But I just add these all across the bottom and they're really, really simple to make. And obviously you could use color, but I'm just kind of adding some neutrals here because I feel like that's exactly what this frame needs. It's just some neutral touches to it. And uh, I feel like that really updates it. And I like to use different shades of white. I feel like that really um, has a pretty look. And I'm kind of mimicking the colors uh, on this, putting those colors on this frame that I'll be putting inside the frame. And that kind of brings it all together. If you don't know how to make these little rosettes, you really need to learn because uh, you can use them to embellish so many items. And they're very quick and easy and take very little fabric at all and actually you can use fabric that you uh, don't have any money in and now I felt like it needed a little something on the top so this is just that little narrow uh, Dollar Tree lace and I'm just going to glue that across the top and then that's all that this little frame will need that's all it'll need except some art inside it obviously So I'm just kind of using hot glue to glue this on because it's fabric to fabric and hot glue will hold really well for that. And then for the inside, I'm just uh, using the glass uh, to cover because uh, I don't want that glass look on the, on the front. I want it to be all cloth. So I've covered it with some uh, muslin, I think this was. And, um, and now, because that muslin was kind of thin, uh, you can almost see through it, 
So uh, I'm gonna add another layer, and how I'll do that is just take some white uh, cloth and tear a rectangle a little smaller than uh, than the first one, and or than the glass rather, and glue that to the front uh, with a stamp on it. So because this muslin is more of a cream color, then I wanted my uh, other layer to be white. And that kind of brings those colors from the rosettes into, uh, or to go along with the frame rather. And this is just another scripture verse. And I'm just gonna stamp that on this and uh, glue that to the, to the, uh, inside of the frame and then this one will also be finished I'm sorry my video is posting late tonight uh, a lot of you won't even see it or most of you won't even see it till morning I'm sorry about that but I got a new phone and I'm figuring it out so uh, my editing was uh, took a, a lot longer but I'm gluing this on the front with some tacky glue because uh, I wanted to make sure that I didn't see those beads of glue uh, through this. Sometimes I'll chance it with hot glue, but, um, but I really like using tacky glue when I have time to wait on it to dry. And I think this changed this frame up completely and I really like the look of it. Um, I could see this in a baby's room. Um, somehow that's just what it makes me think of. But I really like how it turned out and I like the all cloth look on the front. So uh, covering the glass on a frame is a very easy way to make it over because sometimes frames have um, have a back that's hard to remove without messing it up. That wasn't the case with this one, but it is a lot. And then here are all the frames that we worked on today. Um, something to fit just about any decor style. Uh, this one here is one of my favorites, just so simple, but um, I really like how they all turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.